it's best, isn't it? Every time. Only Britain does it the way we do it. It's just perfect. The most amazing day of my life. I cannot explain how I feel. Across the United Kingdom, massive crowds publicly celebrated the Queen's Platinum Jubilee and expressed gratitude for the monarch seven decades on the throne. The Queen has always had this uniting factor yes. about her. I could almost touch her, and it's very touching. <laughs> God save the Queen. It's this talent for pomp, pageantry and PR which has helped keep the royal family at the centre of British life. Thank you for everything. That's very kind. In Australia, Her Majesty's most devoted subjects held a party too, though it wasn't nearly as large and didn't quite hit the same spectacular high notes. God save the Queen. The Platinum Jubilee has been a wonderful opportunity for Australians to demonstrate A, their personal affection for the monarch, for Queen Elizabeth, and B, their support for our system of government. But the recent election of the pro-Republic Albanese government means the future of our constitutional arrangements appear less certain than they have in decades. And monarchists fear they could face a second Republic referendum as soon as four or five years' time. We should cherish what we have. We should dedicate ourselves to its preservation forever. God save the Queen. Yeah. To prepare, they've called in some high-profile Conservative allies. Former Prime Minister Tony Abbott is helping. I think all of us uh, should be loyal to the Constitution, and particularly at a time like this, I'd be happy to say, God save the Queen. Recently defeated Liberal Senator Erica Betts is also on board. If it ain't broke, you don't need to fix it. So too, Julian Lisa, opposition leader Peter Dutton's new shadow attorney general, who is promising to fight for the crown in the coalition's inner sanctum. Well, I regard myself as the shadow cabinet minister. For yeah. the <laughs> so I will be defending our constitution against the Republican incursions. The Queen is no longer the picture of youth she once was, and monarchists believe their cause will be most vulnerable in the early days of Charles's reign. So they're warning that their supporters have to start publicly making the case for keeping the crown now, while the royal family is in the headlines for the right reasons. It is a very, very good system of government and that is where the Labor Party and the Republican movement have continually failed to be able to say why their system would be better. It's this man who is largely responsible for making the monarchists suddenly so nervous. Matt Thistlethwaite is the first ever Assistant Minister to the Crown with the job of convincing Australians to abolish the Crown. My appointment means that the Prime Minister is serious about bringing this issue back onto the agenda for the Australian people. It's been close to 30 years since we've had an intense debate about Australia's constitution and a republic. I call the member for Kingsford Smith. He's vocally pushed for an Australian head of state since his first speech land. to Parliament. And I pledge to do my best in this place to highlight this issue and campaign for change. But is now playing down how quickly change could come. Stressing recognising Indigenous Australians in the Constitution is the government's first focus. But I'm hopeful that we can move on to a discussion around a republic in a second and hopefully third term of a Labor government. Waiting for the results to come in at the Republican... Labor is proceeding slowly, partly because it doesn't want a repeat of the division that was exploited during the failed 1999 Republic referendum. The Republicans laid the blame for the failure of the referendum squarely at the feet of the Prime Minister. He was the Prime Minister who broke this nation's heart. The new minister plans to fund information campaigns and ultimately look at a dedicated team in the Attorney General's department to build consensus steadily over several years on a model for an Australian Republic. We think that it's time that we once again explain to the Australian people 
that we do have a foreign monarch as our head of state. Monarchists are outraged at the idea that taxpayer resources are going to be used to push for a republic. They suspect the government wants to do a lot of the groundwork required for a second referendum before the Queen dies. And then when her son, Prince Charles, takes over and a period of mourning has passed, they believe it will be suddenly a much bigger priority for Prime Minister Anthony Albanese. Even some in Labor think they are probably right. Both sides of this debate believe it will be the largely disengaged Australians in their 20s and 30s that will play a key role in the success or failure of their cause. Many young people like me aren't aware that the monarchy is, is the head of state in Australia and I think it's important to go out there and make sure that everyone knows that we can and we should be an independent country. But young monarchists claim the royal family has a certain grandeur and magic that appeals to the nation's youth. We are ready. Uh, we do have a strong social media presence at the moment. Getting that message out there. Nice gesture of the British government as well. The Republic is for politicians. It's a choice made by politicians for politicians to be able to put their mates in the top job. At various points over the past 150 years, a Republic has been described on and off by some commentators as inevitable. But recent polling on the subject suggests it's not a top priority for many voters. And even though more Australians appear to be broadly in favour of a republic than against it, a large number say they are neutral or undecided. This battle for hearts and minds seems set to bubble away in the background for years to come. There's nothing wrong with our country that becoming a republic is going to fix, so why bother? It's ridiculous that First Nations Australians can have inhabited these lands for millennia, yet they can't be our nation's head of state. And that's a symbol of how outdated our constitution is and the need for reform. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 7.30's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.